Great changes have come to the people and the landscape of Iraq over the past two years. The transition from dictatorship to democracy continues to be difficult. While news coverage is pervasive in the United States and throughout the world, little has been heard from Iraqis themselves. During the summer of 2004, Iraqi citizens from across the country were asked to talk about their lives under Saddam Hussein, their experience during the coalition-led invasion and liberation of their country, and their hopes for the future. These are a few of their stories, in their own words. We are a family that was subjected to persecution from the previous regime, like most of the Iraqis have suffered. In 1983, they assassinated my sister, and they didn't tell us until they put her in the morgue. When we continued the investigation, they literally told my dad they said, you still have a daughter and four sons. Forget this issue completely. This continued not just with us, but with the rest of our relatives. More than 25 were executed. As far as Saddam being overthrown, if there were a word more than grateful, that means more than the word grateful. Please tell me what it is in the Arabic dictionary or any dictionary so that I can say it. Because this thing is extraordinary. The American people felt our pain and rose up to help us. We thank the American forces. If it were not for their support, Saddam would not have been overthrown. God willing, we will live the freedom of which we were deprived. It was bad life for women under Saddam Hussein. There was no health care, no good salaries. We were without respect, without money, without, without nothing, without anything. This is the right of women under Saddam Hussein. There was sanctions and embargoes imposed on Iraq for 12 years. And these sanctions did it weaken Saddam regime. It made him stronger and Iraqi people weaker and poorer. At, at the first time of, of this invasion, at night and at morning, bombing and rocket in every place. I was afraid. Really, I was afraid. But you know, after 20 days, only 20 days, I was in my friend's house and my mother called me, turned the TV and see the greatest thing in our life. And I saw his sculpture fall down. Oh, it was a good day, it was a good day. This freedom was a dream for Iraqi people. We will never forget the help of United States for giving us this liberation. My father was a professor in maritime law. Saddam's regime tried to force him to be a Ba'athi member. He kept refusing. One day he came to us and said, my life is in danger and I have to leave this country. He went to Jordan. I haven't seen him for eight years. I was dragged many times to the security department here in Basra. We were thrown out of our house and this incident caused a heart attack to my mother. If it wasn't for the Americans, we wouldn't have seen freedom. We wouldn't have tasted freedom. No power in the world can free us from Saddam's regime except America. It's a new country, and I think it will be able to get back on its feet. The most important thing that we are facing now is terrorism, and I think it is from the outside countries. They don't want the experience of Iraq to succeed. 
but we Iraqis with the help of America I think we can defeat them and we can prove to them that this process is succeeding now Iraq is free my father now is back and things are getting better and better day after day the American families have sacrificed a lot for Iraq they freed us we will never forget that The first thing I would like to do is to send my greetings to the families of the American soldiers or any young people who have saved us. As far as I was concerned, I was happy because I hated Saddam. Before the fall of the regime, the activities of the young people were very limited. We were deprived of our basic rights. At school, we were forced to join the party. And the ones who did not join were threatened by flanking them or many other threats. The internet was prohibited. And if they find someone who has the internet or any such thing, or a satellite and any of that sort, they jail him or fine him. We used to stay close to our parents because if one of Saddam's son came and liked someone, meaning any girl, he will take her away and no one could say anything to him. After the fall of the regime, what I am seeing is that Iraq has become a more democratic country. The method of teaching and the things we are pursuing in school have changed. There are work opportunities for those who graduate. I wish that the Iraqis will cooperate with each other and unite to build a new Iraq. Thousands of the people tried to run away from Saddam's soldiers. The helicopters follow us and they shoot us by the machine gun. They killed six persons in our car, three of them in my family. <laughs> my sister, my mother, my aunt. Later we found my grandmother. She burned. She melted. Really, Saddam was evil. The first time when uh, I saw the American soldiers, it was like a dream, because they are coming to help us. Americans must talk with the Iraqis to know the truth. Now we can't stand up and depend on ourselves. For the first time, we can say I'm Kurdish in Kirkuk, and I'm a proud, I'm a Kurdish in Kirkuk. <laughs> it's wonderful when you say, who are you, and uh, you are not afraid from anything. The American family, they must be proud because they are uh, helping us, and we never forget it. Really, we never forget it. Iraq's future will be determined in the months and years ahead. The path to freedom remains difficult, but a stable Iraq where real elections are held and law is made by the people and for the people is within sight. The hope of the Iraqi people for a future of freedom and a life of dignity and peace is more real than ever before.